Hey folks, good morning. Good, uh, move my mic over here. There we go. Good Tuesday morning, August 25th. We are almost all the way through the month of August. What do you think about that? Uh, school started yesterday, and actually, uh, it went fairly smoothly, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, fairly smoothly, fairly smoothly. Um, and uh, traffic wasn't bad at all, um, uh, not compared to years prior, but that's probably because, I don't know, half, if if not more, are, are not going to school, so... Um, but yeah, we're back at it. Uh, another day, getting get started again. Kids are up and eating breakfast. Is everybody up yet, or just? Are you kidding? It's the second day of school. They know now when they get up, they have to do school. That's right. We'll get them up. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, well, it's good to see y'all. Good to be on here. Um, need to start with a joke this morning before we hop into our devotional. Um, here's the, uh, here's the joke for today. Did you hear about the Italian chef who died? There was an Italian chef who died. He passed away. I have cereal in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. He passed away. You got it? Yeah, that was a good one. Um, all right. Very good. Well, let's jump into our devotional. Last Thursday, we started talking about um, Daniel, how he gives us this good, uh, well, it's better than good, it's this great blueprint on how, get my feet right, on how we uh, should should pray during during difficult times. Uh, not necessarily crisis all the time, but, but how we pray during difficult times. Um, and we can find there's really six good... Uh, uh, important principles in the book of Daniel, um, where we find that. And, and, and last week, um, we looked at, at the first one of those principles. Last Thursday, I'll kind of jog your memory. It was, remember, we let God speak before we speak to him. Um, that was the first the first thing. Uh, we let God speak before we speak to him because he wants to speak to us. So why wouldn't we? Uh, the second step is uh, this. We we. Pray in a way that God will answer. Um, uh, is it, w sorry, how we pray in a way that God will answer is like this. Um, we need to thank you. We need to focus our attention. Focus our attention on God. That seems elementary, right? Focus our attention on God, and then we seek Him. Daniel did this in, in Daniel chapter 9, verse 3. And that's not going to be our passage for, for today, but I still want to read it to you. Daniel 9, 3, and it says this, I turn my face to God, or sorry, I turn my face to the Lord God, seeking him. I turn my face to the Lord God, seeking him. Now, this is, this is great uh, advice, really, in, in any relationship. Um, and we started talking about some of that uh, even on Sunday at church. Uh, but this basic relationship advice is 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 good just for not just our relationship with God, but with with everyone. Uh, you'll improve any relationship in your life if you follow this principle. If you physically turn yourself towards that person, I turn my face towards the Lord God and focused on them when they are talking, when they're doing whatever, when they talk to you, so that you can listen. So you you. you you seek out what they are saying physically. You turn yourself, you put yourself in a physical place that you can seek them, that you can hear them, that you can listen to them. Um, I notice this with, with Angela. If she's talking to me and I'm facing the other way, even though I may be listening, she will ask, hey, did you hear what I said? We do this with our kids all the time. When they don't turn and look at us, we want them turn their face, look at us in the eyes when we talk to you, right? Um, it's kind of a lost art because a lot of the way we communicate now is is like this, and we kind of you know we'll, we'll 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 glance now and then, but this is where our communication is, and so it's hard to have that that eye contact. 
turn our face to the Lord and we seek him. We, we listen. We intently listen. We try to see, God, what are you saying? Um, turning your face, changing your physical position, it, uh, it shows someone that you care, that you're interested in what they're saying that you are excited about what they're saying. You want to know. It lets them know that they're important. You know, we can we can do this with God. You're like, well, well, God's not here. He's not sitting in my living room. He's not in my prayer closet. He's not in my bedroom. How do we do that? What about if you go outside and you just look up into the sky? You look into the heavens where, where he is. Maybe what if you place his word in front of you? And when you pray, when you're seeking him, you're staring into his word, into his love letter written for you. Physically place yourself in a way that you focus all of your attention on him. And I think especially when we go through some sort of a uh, of a crisis or, or troubling time or difficult time that's we have to because there's so many other distractions that can pull us away, right? There's so many other things. One of the things that we've learned and as are are still learning at at KFC at church is that um this crisis has taught us that a lot of the stuff that we had been doing really wasn't important. And so we're working on redefining um, our skill set and, and what we do and how we do it and what we spend our energy and efforts on and our resources on in order to accomplish what he's called us to, which is to go and, and make disciples. So step one. Step one, we let God speak before we speak. Step two, we find him. We, we, we look for him. We intently, physically move ourselves, focus on him, and seek him. I think those are pretty good steps. In Amos chapter 5, verse 4, God says this, Seek me and live. Seek me and live. I don't think we're truly, really living until we seek God. And here's our verse for today. Let me share it with you. And, and this is one you can carry with you throughout the day. In Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17, I love those who love me, and those who seek me will find me. So I want to encourage you to, to seek him, to look for him, to physically change your position, Sometimes we have to get out of our routine. Sometimes we have to get rid of doing things the way we've used to do it so that we can seek him. I want to encourage you this morning, uh, seek him. Put the work in, put the effort in. You'll find him. Uh, he wants to speak to you. He wants to talk. Uh, so let him talk before we talk. And then... Focus your attention on him and seek him. When was the last time you really sought after God? Or do we just wait till it's convenient? This takes effort. This takes work. This takes a change. But I encourage you, dig in. Seek after him. Uh, you will hear his voice. Maybe not audibly, but you will hear his voice. He will speak. Because we serve a God who still speaks. We serve a God who still answers. We serve a God who loves to answer prayer. That's why we pray things in his will. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you had a, have, a, have a good, good day. Hope you get your coffee. That's hot. Um, and, uh, yeah. Hope you're productive. Hope everything you touch is successful. Uh, those of you who are uh, helping with school, I know we got you know parents and back to school and all that good stuff. 
hang in there. Day two, you can make it. And uh, we're going to look forward to what he is going to be doing through you. Uh, take an opportunity today uh, to share his good news with someone else. Find a way. Uh, be, uh, be creative and find a way to share the fact that God loves you with someone else. All right, guys. Well, love y'all. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, look forward to the time when we can get together tonight for hope, prayer, and blessing. Uh, and then until then, we will see y'all again. Make sure as he is blessing you that you are being a blessing to others. Take care. <laughs>